It is Christmas Eve Eve, December 23rd. And uh, I've got to go out and make some more money, do some more Uber driving, and get some last minute, well, almost last minute gifts. Man, this place right here got a lot of Buddha. Look at all this Buddha. And up there, there's a big old Buddha. Look at that big one. That's why you'd say it if you were, I don't know, goofy like me. You heard that uh, that one song from Billy Idol from the 80s? It's It was inspired by, um, he was with some woman and she had this weird request. She wanted him to go outside and cut the grass at like midnight or something. Yeah, so he wrote the song. In the midnight hour, she cried, mo, mo, mo. And they're blowing leaves all over my car. Dude. These guys blow. Boom. Dang. I'm out at the airport wasting time sitting here. How many of you uh, use Craigslist to uh, buy things? Or sell, for that matter. There are these... They're not scammers, they're just uh, advertisers. They're advertising for some bidding site or something. And um, I'm trying to get a particular item for somebody for Christmas, right? So then whenever you say, hey, I want this item, then they're, they always say, oh, I just sold it. But here's where I got mine. And it's easy to do and all this kind of thing. Just log on and blah, blah, blah. They're just advertising for a site. I wish there was a way to weed those out. I think I can flag them, but I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna go try that. No, I'll let you know what happens. Pain in the ass. I'm trying to buy something, I can't even buy it because of them stupid mother. The city of Allen likes to uh, teach you things while you're sitting in traffic. Let's put this thing out here saying uh, Ebenezer Allen is the guy who uh, the town is named after, and he's done some other stuff. You can read for yourself. I'm not good at reading. I ain't much good at that there reading and such. I'm even less good at writing. When I'm driving on the freeway and uh, if anybody's like, if I'm not feeling like going terribly fast, I'll get in the granny lane, right, in the slow lane. And if somebody's like behind me and um, you can tell they're like right on my ass, they want me to go faster, they finally go around. And why shouldn't they? There's three other lanes. They finally go around and they zoom around real fast. I maintain that slow speed and I just give this look here. I just go. like a silly ass oblivious grin on my face so they can give me a look and take a look at me and then they can tell the family that I was behind this slowest dumbest mother ever and my gosh he was stupid you know so they can hardly go hey you need to speak oh he's goofy never mind you're okay <laughs> it's fine and another thing instead of giving somebody the finger like if they tick you off in traffic just wave and smile it kills them more than anything because if you give them the finger, it gives them justification to shoot you. If you wave and smile, they're just like, oh, he's goofy. <laughs> you know, whatever. Whatever. Tricks. I told you I'd give you some tricks and tips of the road, and here we are. I got my Uber request. Check out the name on this guy. His name is Fat Boy. Uh oh. I better adjust the seats for this guy. Sometimes when I pull up, and I think they're, they're going to be a while, I'll give them a text and see. Hi, Michelle, or hi, David. I'm uh, outside. This gives me the perfect opportunity to say, hey, fat boy, I'm outside. That was fat boy right there. Dropped him off at the African American Museum in uh, Fair Park, Dallas. He wasn't that fat. Check out Dallas, a little bit hazy today. A little bit hazy. Let me get a closer look. I'm going to teach the internet something that apparently a lot of people don't know. Right, while driving. This is for driving. You're supposed to learn this, but whatever. Um, okay, I'm gonna need to turn here soon. This applies for exiting, for making turns, for changing lanes, but I'm going to turn right over here. I'm gonna pull into this place. What I'm gonna do, see this? I'm gonna put that on and it makes this little arrow go on to let people know which way I'm going. It's a courtesy thing, and it's the law. But, uh, so yeah, there you go. Get I'm gonna record this a bit. It's a quite the smash up. Hope you, hope you don't mind re-recording. Holy crap, look at that. 
Good job. That is right. Cowboys have clinched a uh, playoff spot and won the NFC East. Oh my gosh, I like this one all right. Here, actually. Deck. That's awesome. I like it. It says foggy weather in 0.1 mile. Just there? No, it's everywhere, man. The person right in front of me, I don't know if you can see them, but they don't have any tail lights or brake lights. That I can, probably brake lights, but no tail lights. And that person right to the right of them, it looks like they've got their reverse lights on, but it's their brake lights wired to their reverse lights. Come on, hit them. Okay, brake lights do come on, but also their, their reverse lights go on really bright. It looks like they're about to back up on me. Good job. Check out the tree, man. That's good. That's Clyde Warren Park, I think it's called. It is a park that is built over the expressway. So you go under it quite a bit and you don't even know it. You're like, you don't know there's a park up there. It's a pretty neat little deal. I've never been there, it's as close as I've been. foggy. Do you think it's safe to be recording with your camera while in that fog? Yep. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna turn it off.